Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest XI S Definitive Edition 2D. So this trial is actually not where I thought it was. I think that tower was the Tower of Time. Let's go. I think the trials are at Angrela. So do we, can we have a warp there? I haven't been back there for a long time. I think we can warp to every place now though. Welcome, Prince of Dunderzil, to Angula. I am Pang, Grand Master of the Temple. We humbly swear to honor the ancient agreement, to accept you as a disciple, and cultivate your physical and spiritual strength as best we can. What's the matter? Too many long words? Fine. Allow me to explain it all in terms you'll understand. For as long as anyone can remember, the sons of Dunderzil's royal family have been sent here to be educated for six years of their youth. As the Crown Prince of Dundrazil, you too were supposed to have come here as a boy and trained under me. When your homeland was destroyed by monsters, the world thought you dead. But still, we held out hope. For many long years, we have awaited your coming. It's been a long time, Master Payne. Forgive me for not visiting you sooner. My dear Robert, it's been rather a long time, hasn't it? I must admit, I thought we would only meet again in the next world. Hmm, speaking of which... You look like you've seen a ghost, boy. Well, I must admit I have familiar, a similar feeling. It's as if we've met before somewhere. Strange. And we still know the ability that she gave us. Ah, oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I would so like to have a nice long chat with my lovely new disciple, but there are more important matters at hand. Even for half a world away, I can feel the evil aura emanating from the Dark Star. There's a body of unfathomable wickedness. You mean to destroy it, don't you? Well, it just so happens that there's a special training regimen here on the temple that should prepare you to do just that. We call it the Wheel of Harma. I will summon forth a constant cycle of fiendish foes that will push you, your powers to the very limit. Many have attempted to conquer the wheel, but though the trial has existed for a millennium or more, none have succeeded. If you feel brave, feeling brave, speak with the High Lama. Grandmaster, I have spent years practicing everything you taught me. Focus, discipline, abstinence. Let me show you what I can do. Hmm, very spiritly. I'd like to see how you've come along, Rab. You certainly seem a lot more focused than when we last met. Oh, I'm focused, all right. Come on, you little whippersnappers. What are we waiting for? I've got a thing up to show you. Oh, Rab, you and your porno. I take back everything I said. Come on here, Robert. We have a record to break. Aye! The stick of torch. What is it called? The spanking rod or something? Awarded to intrepid travelers who have learned every zoom location. Huh? Welcome, Luminary, to the field of discipline. Here you may pitch yourself against the wheel of Hama, and by doing battle with every more powerful foes, learn to draw every ounce of your strength in battle. But there are two things you must keep in mind should you undertake this challenge. Firstly, consider the strengths and weaknesses of both your foes and your companions when choosing who to face the wheel. Secondly, do all that you can to defeat your opponents with as few actions as possible. Remember, I will be counting the total number of actions taken by all members of your party. Should you be... Should you best... Should you best your foe efficiently enough, your efforts will be rewarded. Make sure to give it your all. Oh, I almost forgot. I have important news. With the threat of the Dark Star now looming over our heads, Grandmaster Pang has permitted disciples access to newer and more challenging trials. Should you overcome the third trial, more challenges will be made available to you. Never stop pushing yourself. There is no limit but that of your imagination. 
So which of the Hama trials do you want to undertake? The first trial, of course! So if we do it under 8 moves, we get all of the th stuff. The Sage's Robe, the Saint's Ash, Staff of Divine Wrath, and the Emperor's New Axe. Which is a... recipe book, I believe? So we're gonna do the first battle, and we can only have one party member, and... Oh. We'll try it. We probably have a better sword now, right? Try it with the Supreme Sword of Light. It's saying that we should have the dragons, the Wyrm Fang, but I feel like that's not as powerful. In the second battle, I think we're gonna use Jade and Rab. They can do Pink Tornado and Cut Crackle. I think we have those. Are you happy with the challenge of this party? Yes. We get. We have two battles. We have to beat both battles in late moves or less to get all the stuff. So let's try it. Alright, so let's sword dance. Oh, one turn. See, it said it should be two turns of the Worm Fang. You have taken but one action thus far. The final challenge of the current trial awaits you. Give it your all, Luminary. Alright, so there's four things. So we need to use... what is it called? What did I say it was? Pink Typhoon? No, Pink Tornado. Can we not use that? And he can use Crackle. Oh, we don't have Crackle. Uh-oh. use this. Where's the leg kick? I feel like this is easier. Now that we have these moves, because it wanted us to do a last thing and we didn't have these moves, so this is probably easier. Yep, yeah, that was much easier. Impressive work, Luminary. You have successfully completed your first trial. In recognition of your first successful completion of the trial, allow me to present you with this reward. He receives a tome entitled The Emperor's New Axe. He reads The Emperor's New Axe and learns how to make Kaiser Axes. And how efficiently did you dispatch your foes? Let us see how many actions you took. Well, well, a mere seven moves. Oh, we almost didn't do it. Really? We took that many moves? Oh, I guess the second battle, there's two people, so oof. Okay. Not that we would have expected any less of the Luminary. So we... I thought it was turns. It's moves. So each person counted as a move. We took, like, four turns to do it. No. It must have been three. Because we only fought... Yeah. So we must have done three rounds with Rab and Jade, and it made it six moves, and then the first battle was only one move. Oof. I presented you with this award. You earned a Staff of Divine Wrath. You earned an Urn of Saint's Ashes. You earned a Sage's Robe. Congratulations, the second trial has now been made available for you to attempt. Should you ever wish to attempt the ha Wheel of Hama again, you need only ask. So the second trial is within 10 moves. 
and it has three battles. Oof. So we're going to use the hero for the first battle. And use Giga Gash under Sword Mastery. Let me make sure I have swords and not great swords on. Savando. Savando for the second battle. And then Jade and Rab for the third battle. First couple battles should go just fine. Let's see. So that should be fine. Giga Clash. And that should be done. Okay, then there's going to be Professor Saurus, Crackbill Platypus, and a Hocus Poker. And use Gold Rush and Savanda. Why? This brings your total to four turns. It says you should be able to get him in three moves. I don't know. And then we use Pink Tornado. Why don't we have that? What is the point of this exam? And every time I've used it, it just says that you looked at your feet and nothing was there. Why doesn't she have this? We have a hundred frickin' points! There's no reason she doesn't have Pink Tornado by now. I guess I just forgot. Sends a minxy wink sailing towards all enemies that will sometimes put them to sleep and also restore HP. That sounds cool. Might as well use all these allure things. I can puff puff them. Gross. Sends a kiss sailing towards an enemy. I really want sh my charm up. This is claws though now. Oh, that is claws too. There's no way I can get this though without claws. Sexy Beam, a powerful seductive onslaught that can sometimes beguile enemies. Ooh, that sounds cool. Blow kiss. And this is resilience. Oh, that we have just enough for that. That's cool. Okay. Awesome. Now we know Pink Tornado, so I won't be confused by these things that it's telling us to do. So Jade in the third battle should use Pink Tornado and Kakrackle. Why don't we have Kakrackle either? That must be something from here. We don't have a lot of stuff. What is this? Let me, I'm gonna just, hold on one second. I'm gonna look at Rab's thing. Crackle, is that one of the things that he can learn from this? Lightman is at the top. I'm not sure what these things are. So we have claws over here. We have heavy wands. I don't think heavy wands would teach him something. I feel like a lightning would. Crackle is right here. Damn it. So in order to get this, we're going to have to go through here. Ugh. Doesn't someone else have that? Maybe we can just use someone else. I feel like Jade just learned that. Let me go to... Attributes. Didn't someone just learn Crackle? Jay can't use any. Magic. So how could it be her? Who was it though? She can use Crack. I'll have using examine. Can she not use Kerkrackle? I could have sworn it told me some of you. It was Kerfriz that I learned. Oh man, we need a lot of experience, or we need to get rid of the app, the claw thing, but I don't want to do that. Let's see what we need exactly. Rab. We're gonna need to get this and this. To get this. So we're gonna need 
five, nineteen. Uh, Fifty-five. And then whatever this is, it's probably a lot. Oof. Why does Rab not have a lot of points? So what does it say if Rab doesn't have that? I mean, mo <sighs> Damn it. I don't want... I feel like it's going to be a pain in the butt to... Devest my stuff. Let's try it though, whatever. Oh look, there's a guy right next to him. Oh, rectification. Let's see, what were his... So he has a lot of good stuff. The alignment. I'm gonna have to take off his alignment and just rework it. Exciting, isn't it? Why do I keep examining the floor instead of doing the miscellaneous? All right, Ram. We're gonna have to come from this way now. Oh, we can't do that yet either. Should have enough to get all the stuff over here, unless everything's super expensive over here. Okay. What does this do? Undoes all positive effects affecting an enemy? It's not the same thing as rack rake and break? So crackles what we need. Screws all enemies with a storm of Icicles, all right. So let's just fill out the rest as best we can. What is this? Oh, we need that. We use this all the time. I don't think I've ever used infinite wisdom. Zamel? Right as rain? What is that? This is Caster Sugar. Slightly increases the effectiveness of your spells. Don't have that. We do have enough for that. Should I do that? Yes. I don't think I've ever used Infinite Wisdom. What is it? Raises Rab's magical might and mending for four turns. I've never used that in my life. So we don't even care. We need this. And then we'll worry about this when we get enough stuff. Alrighty, we're back. Welcome, Luminary, to the Fields of Discipline. So which of the Wheel of Homotrials do you want to undertake? Alright, the first battle we're gonna put Pew. The second battle we are going to use Salvando. I think he has the gold rush, pretty sure. The third battle we're gonna do Jade and Rab. Alright. 
Alrighty, I'm happy. Let's go. So the first thing is fit to beat the band. So there's a bunch of stuff. I don't have Giga Cash? Why don't I have a sword on? I hope this doesn't count as moves. Alright. We need to use Giga Cash, it says. But isn't Giga Smash better? Got a magic barrier. Should I just use. Now that it's just one person, should I just go sword dance? Yeah. Alright, well, that took two turns like it said it was going to. Oh dear. It's dangerous now. Alright, now Savannah's gonna use Gold Rush, I guess. Why is he? What? Why is he not able to use abilities? Why? Uh oh. I don't know what to do now. I guess I've lost. So, Sylvana needs to be equipped with two care rings, I guess. This is so annoying. I don't have any care rings. Can I make them? This episode's stupid. It's just me making stuff and putting... I cut that out probably then. Alright, so that took forever. I had to craft two care rings and plus three of them, which I did pretty easily. One of them I got plus two, but I reworked it. Then I went to the academy and bought two safety goggles, each for Jade and Rab. So you can see that Eric has... Not Eric, Sylvanda. Sylvanda has two care rings on, and Jade has two safety goggles on, and Rab has two safety goggles on, because on the third fight... There is an Ursa Panda which can beguile you, and having two level 3 safety goggles gives you 50% protection against the beguilement, so hopefully that's okay. So let's try that one more time. We're going to do the second trial, and the first battle we're going to use Pew. Second battle, we're gonna put Silvando. In the third battle, we will have Jade and Rab. All right, let's go. So hopefully this works. We're going to use the Giga Gash. I wonder why it doesn't kill that marionette. It's pretty annoying. I mean, we could probably use anything on him and he'll die. I feel like he has very few hit points left. But it's annoying that it took two moves. Alrighty, next we will use the gold strike. Gold Rush, whatever it's called. That really takes a lot of damage, but it takes a 
I think it takes a thousand gold every time you use it. Alright, so that brings us to four turns, which it says it's supposed to. So we're going to use Pink Tornado and Crackle on the next move. Two moves. Oops. And that's three moves. So that's altogether six moves. It's way better than ten. Impressive work, Luminary. You have successfully completed the second trial. In recognition of your first successful completion in the second trial, allow me to present you with this reward. Hugh receives a tome entitled Some Reflections on Protection. And we learn how to make enchanted shields. And how efficiently did you dispatch your foes? Let us see how many actions you took. Well, well, a mere seven moves. It was two, three, four, five, seven. I got seven. I don't know why I thought it was six. We got a Dragon Dojo Duds, a Bottling Lightning, whatever that is. Oh, it's another recipe book. And we learn how to make Lightning Conductors and Rogue's Robes. Is that the same thing we got in the last one? No, oh, Sage's Robes last time. That's Rogue's Robes. Congratulations, the search trial has now been made available to attempt. Should you ever wish to attempt the Wheel of Hama again, you may only ask. Alright, so we're not going to do that because we will use up all my time for today. So, whoops, the guy's right next to us. So remember to subscribe to my channel, ring that bell to be notified of future videos, like the video, comment down below, and share the video. And in the next episode, we will... I think we can go all the way up to the fourth trial. There's five pole trials. It says on the guide that we do the fourth trial, and then we do the luminaries trial, and then the final trial. So let's see what happens. See you guys next time. Bye!